So, one thing I realized is that the encyclopedia has slightly different descriptions than the rest of the game. Like, this is a different description than what you would find in the actual item description. So, uh, yeah, looks like I got something new to read at the beginning of my episodes now. Let's start with the most essential vitamin in your day, vitamin meat. It's likely that most of the synthetic cows transported on the liner were killed together with the passengers, and there's not much left of them. Let's hope that this is really is synthetic cow meat, however. Uh, that this really is synthetic cow meat. However, before eating it, it's better to check it for traces of bio-glue first, so as not to accidentally eat a piece of some unfortunate passengers? Oh, boy, that's, uh... That's... That's hinting a little bit that we, in fact, do know what bio-glue comes from, I guess. <laughs> oh, boy. Welcome back to Breath Edge. So, secret tunnel? Secret tunnel. Oh, goodness. Can I, um... Nope. Nope. That's not happening. I might need to come back here with the electrician suit, then. Yeah, a little bit of free food will never be complained about. Huh. This place seems to be a little bit bigger on the inside than I thought it was on the outside. Either that or they're making very good use of their three-dimensional space. You're just making sure there's nothing down the shaft. A laboratory with the most advanced equipment. Individuals don't have access to such technologies. Neat. Can I... Can I... It, it's kind of Something adorable. Something him apart from the inside. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's not... This thing is kind of adorable, but I'm also curious what's inside of it. They are not adorable pinatas, and I bet that's going to be the only one that we ever find. Hmm. No, I can't make out any of those words. No power. The color green perfectly calms the nervous system, relieves tension, and normalizes blood pressure. Not in all cases, though. Hmm. So you're saying that I should paint myself green? Need a scanner. No, oh, we can make green lamps, I suppose. That's that's nice. Will we find other colors, perhaps? Hmm. Huh. Case N, classified. Documents. Ah, Doctor Ripley's report. Ripley, someone torn apart from the inside. I see what they're doing here. E. Ripley's inspirational note on the success of breeding a new type of synthetic cows resistant to disease, radiation, physical effects, ultra-low temperatures, and other harmful factors that do not allow to grow animals on planets with harsh conditions. Can never be changed. Report by Dr. E. Ripley, 024-13. Wait, 13? In the report, I could not help but point out to the phenomenal survival ability of Subject 14A. As noted above, the most difficult part was not growing the experimental prototypes, but disposing of them. Subject 14A and similar specimens from the same control group regenerated rapidly, even with a cut-off head. Mutations caused by this regeneration often changed their initial appearance beyond recognition. The cells simply did not know the final form of their carrier, and produced incredible forms that could not adapt to independent life. We tried to prevent this uncontrolled cell division physically, chemically, even at a DNA level, but the chicken gene always found a loophole. Research by Dr. Baiko, conducted together with Dr. Dolmachov's group, helped us to reveal some details of these regenerative abilities. However, they triggered... Mm. Chicken genes, you say? 
This is not just an underground laboratory, but a government scientific complex for growing synthetic animal hybrid species. Such experiments are extremely dangerous due to the inability to control some mutations. <laughs> On behalf of the Breath Edge Company, I would not recommend crossbreeding chickens with cows. Yeah, you'd, you'd get eggs that are full of milk. And certainly not an immortal chicken. No, never. Well. Looks like some data blocks. Connect me to one of them and I'll try to find out if there's any cooling gel in the capsules. Hmm. Data blocks, you say? It must be. Ah, okay. Interesting. There is no cooling circuit here, which means the gel can only be present in the solution itself that is poured into the capsules. The full composition of the solution is encrypted, but we can pump it out using the control post and analyze it manually. Okay. Gonna learn how to make our own cooling gel? That's neat. Some mutated chicken DNA is being examined here. You you don't say. That's an awful familiar looking chicken, isn't it? Yep, sure is. Hell of a coincidence. Data on some class A biological experiment which shows that cows and chickens have genes and that someone clearly knows very little about biology and genetics. Yeah, I imagine I'm that certain someone. Hmm. 846. Yeah, that that looks like... That looks like, uh... No, that, I'm not sure what chemical that is. Oof. Adorable little floof-headed thing. I can't read any of that writing. On a cock's crest. Yeah. Class A biological experiments are prohibited on the surface of inhabited planets, on their satellites, as well as within a radius of 500,000 kilometers from any inhabited objects. The liner does not fall under this prohibition while it's in outer space. Uncharted waters, you say? A detailed plan of the transport module. Hmm. Transport module. That's a new one. What's that all about? Oh, I already have the dispenser on me. Transport module, you say. A transport module with 12 replaceable blocks of walls. It's large and useless. You can dock a whole fleet of shuttles. This module is useful for throwing a party with your friends, and that means not in this game. <laughs> so it's just the large room, and it's just called transport? I can't, like, dock a ship to it? Auto-refuel it? That would be nice. Financial report. Okay. The laboratory was probably sponsored very well. However, it's quite difficult to understand this report without ha having some uh, specific details. So, incoming funds, amount, state subsidies, 14,000. Liner revenues from tickets sold. Ooh, very important. 10,000. Yes. Funeral agency revenues, 1750. Yeah. Wow. So, I guess the tickets on the well, it could be that they're running very close to cost. That they're just a very generous, but no. That's cheap. If, yeah. Revenues from sales, 1800 Anonymous donations, 11 Censored, 960 Non-anonymous donations, 20000 Whole bunch of censored. C in closed 27E. Okay, so this side is expendable funds, quantity amount. Laboratory glassware sets, 50, uh, 400. Uh, G7, uh, it's it's a really complicated drug. 60, amount 17,500. Oh, oh, that must be the cost, yes. So 60 of those cost $17,500, oof. Heavy-duty containers, 100 pieces, boxes. 72 of them cost 1440. Hmm. I can if those are the uh if those are the boxes that I smash that I usually find uh things like fabric and plastic in, I can probably calculate how much money I've cost them. Hmm. Annual employee payments asterisk. For a detailed report, see enclosed 22B. Uh 34 employees paid $10,200. Not 
bad, unless this is an annual report. Is this an annual or a monthly report? I don't think it says anywhere. Uh, paper packs, 100 pieces boxes. Uh, well, then again, 34, it, it, even if that is per month, that's not great. No, that's that's pretty bad, in fact. Yeah. Hmm. Paper packs, 100 pieces boxes. 15 boxes for $900. Hmm. Yeah. Chicken eggs, highlighted. 10 packs with 9 pieces each. 100 boxes cost, oh, Boy, a hundred thousand dollars. Goodness. So let's see, ten packs of nine pieces each by a hundred. So a thousand, nine thousand eggs cost a hundred thousand dollars. Jeez, that's some inflation right there. Disposable gloves, two hundred pieces packs. Twenty of them cost six hundred dollars. No, I guess it's not inflation. It's just eggs being horrific. Cleaning agent, fifty pieces boxes. Uh, three costs 120. Really complicated drug costs uh, 170. Costs 28,220. Spicy chicken crest 20 pieces bucket. Six costs 126 dollars. Increase this number. Tax payments zero. Hmm. According to these documents, the laboratory must be sponsored somehow, and that probably also involves the revenue from the liner unnamed. Yeah. at least getting some lovely oxygen cans. According to the plan, this is not only the main control post, but also the steering wheel. This section has a space shuttle, but with such damage, it's unlikely to be able to fly. Yeah. It would be a bit too easy. Is this stable? That's just... That's just the quickest way to find it out. Step on it and see if something happens. Oh, I can't scan the steering wheel. There aren't any view screens, and these don't look like they're window shutters that open. Hmm. I've downloaded the manual. To clean the specimen capsules, press the blue button. Or the green one. Unfortunately, the manual is black and white. Oh boy. Well, uh, those will be fine. Something's wrong. I would suggest ignoring what happened. If these specimens end up on some planet and remain intact, then politicians will come up with some story about a super intelligent race that created these creatures to destroy mankind. Press the green button. Uh, let's press the red button. Judging by the picture, the red button duplicates the green one, but you better not poke everything around as the story is not nonlinear. In any case, as I thought, <laughs> the capsules didn't contain all of the solution. Pumping out for the reserve tanks initiated. Okay. So, examine the solution somewhere. Wherever the most it's common way to use a desktop aquarium in space. According to statistics, every second surveyed man longs to go in a normal toilet for the opportunity of seeing the size of his organic product. Yes. Hmm. It has interesting little wavy lines on it. That guy probably has some digestive problems. So, I, I guess I need to find where the solution is being pumped to. Ah, down here. Okay. Tank with solution. There's no cooling gel here, but the solution contains potassium iodide, cystamine, ondansetron, and some non-standard impurities. Theoretically, it can serve as excellent anti-radiation protection. Just put the solution into the insulin cell of the suit, and I'll calculate the dosage so you don't turn into a vegetable or a mutant cow. Okay. Your protection against radiation has increased. You didn't even have to launch anything into the core, risking the start of an uncontrolled reaction of matter explosion. Although it would have been right to launch this laboratory together with all of its dangerous research. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that feeling, Sue. I'm with you on that one. Not to mention, if someone else came across this, they might start asking me questions about my chicken. I don't like people questioning me about my chicken. Not when I want to play with it in public. Even trash cans can be luxury ones, but this is not one of them. Hmm. So would that be a way of disposing of unwanted items? That might be nice. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, anything else in this enclosure anywhere? I'll be honest, I'm kind of mostly relying on Soup to say something if I just jerk myself near it. Ah, sweet, some free fuel. More refined metal I won't say no to. Well, we've completed part one of six of making the core accessible, so that's a very successful endeavor. And I suppose that kind of concludes our business in the leaky zone. Unless we want to come back here for some, uh, for some meat. Tasty, tasty meat. Look for the little hair on fire sign. That appears to be universal language for exit in this universe. So if I come back here with the electrician suit, is that something I can play with? Hmm. I wonder, am I the only one who is confused about the fact that these specimens have chicken genes? Many blueprints specify chickens to be the main catalyst for mutations. You even have an immortal chicken in your backpack, don't you? Yeah. Chickens are the main catalyst of mutations. Be careful. Hmm. So biologists have been using chickens for all sorts of genetic experiments, I imagine, if they're the main catalyst of mutations. So maybe it's just a coincidence? But we all know it's not a coincidence. There are no coincidences. Hmm. It's disturbing either way you cut it. Alright, home sweet home. Aw, oh, the book fell off. Well, that was inevitable, I suppose. So... First of all, I guess let's, uh, let's see if, well, l let's sort away all our stuff, I suppose. Yeah, set me up a nice little conspiracy board here. The truth is out there. Mm. It's vital that we have one of those. There, that's got things a bit more reasonable in our inventory. Now let's first assess if we can start researching anything. And complete the scraper. So I would need a lot of electronics for that. Mm, I don't have fabric. I don't think I need to make that. Yeah, I think that's just my bike. That would be like if I lost my current bike and I needed to make a new one, I guess. Yeah, I don't even know what those breath energy cores are. I don't have paint. Inductor and compensator times two. Hmm. Compensator might be doable. I just need to make a new grabber and find some alkali. Uh, okay, so that might be our next goal. I'm just going to need to... Uh, yeah, need to make myself a new grab bar, because that one is down to one. I also need to make myself a new drill, just because I don't have one on me right now. So, need refined metal, battery, thick electrical tape. And yes, what, what, what is this scraper? A professional tool for scraping off dried chewing gum of any... For scraping off dried chewing gum of any surface, including hair. When it comes to hair, the scraper the scrapper turns into a professional tool for removing it by gentle scalping. The uh the the proofreader on this also needs a gentle scalping, it would seem. Hmm. Chewing gum is just made out of a single piece of resin. Healthy. I don't know. And then let's see here. Huh. Beef grenade. Interesting. Okay, but, uh, da, 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 da. right, right, right. I want to make a, a drill and a grabber. So I'm going to need two refined metal, battery wire aluminum, battery thick electrical tape. Okay, there we go. Nice new set of tools. And you know what? I, I picked up a couple of those first aid kits. Let's just use one of them. Get our health up a little bit. Oops. 
just get him most of the way back up, I suppose. Carry that fuel with us. And now let's decide what I want to do. So, do I want to hunt down more electronics to try and to try and get the jet the jet accelerator or I think the military oxygen cylinder would what I would be what I would really put on my wish list. Because uh, that would be an entire 75 more seconds of oxygen, which would be very nice. But the jet accelerator is probably the most attainable thing right now. Alternately, I could just go out adventuring again. Which, uh, yeah, let's let's check out the giant. Let's check out the. Um... No, I don't want to go to the new ice hole until I get that engineering suit. I don't think, because that seems to be the way of defeating ice. So let's check out some of the stuff around here. Let's see if any of these things are an air station to set up a forward base in this direction. We've got lucky on that on that regard so far. What have we here? A very competent pipeline distribution. Huh. Pipelines for what though? Improved communications? Okay. That, that sounds interesting. Lots of metal that I'm kind of short on right now. That's good news. I suppose I could go back to the leap zone. I saw some nuggets in there. But let us keep pressing on in the meantime. We do have two candles we can burn, just in case. Let's check out what this is up with. Because this looks... Um, Deliberate. Oh boy, that's an asteroid turret. The service post. About two meters of high strength alloy and no breaches in the security system. The object is classified, but I managed to download some information from the captain's bridge. You can remotely access the turret. Be careful. This is working autonomous oxygen station. This is Knight Errant, the main weapon of liner unnamed. It was meant to be used only in cases of emergency when the liner was attacked from the outside. Who would attack it, and what makes Knight Errant different from other turrets? The journalists didn't get a clear answer. It looks like Knight Errant's manual control panel. It's used in case of remote control system failure. Getting here from inside the liner was impossible, therefore it wasn't fortified much. That was a whole lot of info all at once. But yes, we do have a lovely forward base if, uh somewhat of a well-defended one. So, it looks like someone must have been wildly mashing the weapons buttons while the ship was crashing, which I guess makes sense. Huh. Cos... Cosmos Citizen. Cosmos Citizen. No, Cosmos Citizen. A magazine for modern, stylish girls. Rumor has it that one man read it, went crazy, and died without regaining consciousness. It sounds impossible, but it's better not to risk reading it. How to get out of the tax hole? Advice from the daughter of the CEO at Oily Gas Inc. Top 7 masks made from expired products for the face and the body. Number 1 beauty blogger Lala Plop. To become the new model of the Schnell perfume, bland, perfume brand. Be the queen of the house. 276 bathrobe designs from the Life on the Couch shopping channel. Wow. Oh, it's even dog-eared. Can I see slightly inside of there? It looks like it's just kind of a mirrored texture. Shampoo hair growth. The eyebrows. The gel-like texture of the shampoo allows you to use just a few drops to create a thick foam. The revolutionary formula stimulates the scalp and facial skin and activates the follicles, causing hair to grow thicker and faster. Suitable for all skin types used in all areas of the body. You know, I might have a use of that. The latest issues of this magazine were uploaded to my database for speaking with teenagers, but unfortunately, I accidentally erased them. Forever. Accidentally. So many accidents with you, suit. There are no data about the discharge cells or any modern particle beam weapon in general. But, according to the blueprint, it's somewhere inside the gun's barrel. I don't think you should poke your nose in there. 
You don't think so? Well, I'll show you. This thing is clearly safe. It's been completely discharged. It's fine. If the gun doesn't work, it doesn't mean you can poke your head right into its barrel. Although such a classified device causes an uncontrolled execution. Apparently, these are the discharge cells. It's unlikely that you'll be able to fix them, but I'm sure that there are some spare ones somewhere. Although, I recommend that you think about why you would want to repair this gun in the first place. For Big Boom. Why is that hard to understand, suit? So I'm going to need to find a recipe for... Uh, active discharge cell, okay. Can I scan that? Can I analyze that? Hmm. So I need to find some discharge cells, I suppose, is the lesson here. Yes. This does look like a fairly resource-rich era area, at the very least. Got that going for it. Ooh, some electronics. Definitely need to start... Oh, I did have a drill on me. It was just low on durability. That's what I was confused about. Yes, definitely need to start taking those electronics every time I see them. So can I do anything about those ast Maybe that's what the laser gun is for. Maybe that is what the laser gun is for. Sniping out pesky little turrets. That does seem to be a good tool for the job. Is this anything that is just getting sheared off? Neat. Alright, let's let's take a gander around. Turret active. Be careful. I see it. Fabric! That should be the last fabric we need to make the suit. So, already this trip is extremely profitable. A garbage ball, huh? Eh, bit of metal. Bit of metal, if nothing else. And now it's paid off that we made a new drill. Where is the danger coming from? Must be on the underside of the ship or something. Or the weapon system, I should say. This isn't an independent ship, it's more... Was that my last handy scrapper? I thought I had three of them clogging up my inventory. Ah, no, there it is. Yes, definitely need to continue stockpiling fabric. There's a lot of fabric back in the starting zone. Maybe I could stop by there and just pick up a load. But we are finding it little bit by bit in these containers. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to go exploring into the interior of these asteroids with all those pretty prominences. You know what? I bet I th I bet that's something I would need the heatproof engineering suit for. Yeah. That's the first heat-looking hazard we've discovered that's not just a cold hazard. Okay, anything else? There's some resin. I'm good at resin. Be careful. Yeah, that's... How close can we get to those things? We can get a little ways closer to them once Suit starts getting paranoid. So he does give us plenty of warning. A little 
little bit of electrical tape, but won't say no. This is a pretty intense big area. I hate portals. Uh, okay, that's... That's nice. Are you just not good at thinking with them? Oh, yeah, handy scrapper? Okay. Well, I, I guess... I guess that's fine. That's fine. Spent a lot of batteries. Let's pick some up. Hmm. Ball with hamster. A hamster ball with a pet hamster. It has quite a durable and heavy design, capable to even crush bones. Apparently, the hamster bit off a part of the his master through the holes of the ball and ate it. They're not harmless, as it turns out. Wow. You can lose your head for various reasons, but this case is especially interesting. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty interesting, all right. I don't think I'm going to keep that. You just, uh, you, you just enjoy, you, you just enjoy that new existence, dead hamster. You've earned it. Oof. Let me out, let me out. Well... Go around the electric discharge. That's the lesson of the day. Sometimes the best path isn't, in fact, a straight line. Gotta make that line a little bit gay. Now let's see what that area over there is all about. That should also let, maybe let us get a better look at the night air and see if there's yeah I can't really get near those sections over there turret nearby. and I'm also gonna have to review what the suit was saying because he keeps cutting himself off with his constant panicking yeah I'll take a construction kit Babe, I detect signal from intact garbage or intact garage. Maybe there's a car there and you can fly it straight to court to save everyone, of course. That's it's not recommended semi to disassemble space beds, although it's not clear why. It's hard to find a simpler object. Well, I was hoping for a bed. in here bunch of containers it looks like well good thing we got ourselves some extra supply Alright, well, this has been a very profitable trip out. Turret nearby. Yes, I know, Suit. I am very well aware of the constant danger I am in. How are we doing? Yeah, it's, it's time to offload, and I want to get that research going anyway. So, let's head back to the old homestead. Let's just take a very high and wide path. Yeah, that area is kind of crawling. So I'm thinking that maybe if I'm right about the blaster, or maybe those beef grenades, or some of the other more destructive tools we've been looking at, Maybe some of those can handle the turrets more permanently. And we can make that area completely safe to wander. That might be something to look into. Alright. 
Exciting times. New suit. At least I hope so. At least I think so. But I know. Re really deep sound, yeah. Just a resin and two aluminum. That's easy peasy. We can swing that. Alright, let's see. Ooh. Blue. Babe, if you're still researching electricity protection and want to test it on yourself, I found a great place with huge lightning. I'm sure it's safe, and you'll have to go there and try lightning first without a protective suit. Without the protective suit to make comparison. And also, I missed a few things from space suit. And uh, I hate poor. Apparently, these are discharge cells. Huh. It looks like some of the simple asides that he was saying weren't preserved. I'm pretty sure that I missed a couple of things he was saying just because he cut himself off, but... Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's put the space suit in here. Well, I guess technically I'm never going to want to use it again, but we'll keep it for legacy purposes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got one roll of fabric worth, but I need two. So I need just a little bit more fabric. <sighs> and you know what? Let's check out what that space bed costs. If it just costs a roll of fabric or something, then... Oh yeah, we never checked out what this aeroponic planter is about, too. That's just plastic and glass. Do I have any glass on me? I don't. I would need to stop by the first ice hole to pick some of that up. And this at least gets some music in here. Electronics and plastic? Sure. I'll blow in it. I'll blow a piece of electronics on getting us some sweet tunes. Huh. I did need to pick up more plastic. Well... That's probably a good place for it right there. Nah. Good enough. So why ain't you working? Okay, so it looks like it dismantles. It doesn't. It. I only got the electronics back. So be very, very careful where you place things. And I'm completely out of plastic, of course. Any case, I think what I was after was the bed, yes. Decor floor. Uh, da, 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 da. Tabletop aquarium, no, 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 no. Hmm. Got a space. Oh, there it is. So I need a light bulb, two rolls, two rolls of fabrics. Shoot. Can't have the bed just yet. Hmm. Big window has just a heart sign. Neat. Hmm. A valuable compartment, improved communications. A valuable compartment that embodies all the power of your engineering skills. It's got a powerful pump, a new filtration system, and it perfectly distributes electrical energy with a special compensator. All this is written with a marker and therefore works, adding oxygen and electricity to the station. Huh. So, I guess that 
instead of well that's that's plus 20 each that's plus 50 that's plus 50 but if i was just making like a small little outpost station somewhere like if i was just setting up an emergency oxygen station near some place or a forward operating base that i wasn't supplied or something like that i could just build like one of these teeny tiny little small habitation modules with one of that inside of it and that would be enough and that would allow me to make Essentially, a free oxygen refill relatively cheaply. Hmm. All right, generator, canistron. Let's see if we can build the interfo. We, we need to. We need to get the. So the canistron. I need glass. I need to stop by the old ice hole to get glass. Hmm. In any case, uh, yes, notice that our suit is, as expected, now just fancy in blue. I think it's no no other difference. But let's check out the big zappy zapper. Big zoobble zobble. And let's see what these cores have to teach us. Yeah, we can just get right up on those now. We're immune to electricity. Energy core, eh? You need to neutralize the core. Uh, well, the chicken ain't gonna do it. I guess. Follow its lines. Maybe there's like a switch somewhere I can push or something. Yeah, fabric and plastic. That's what I need right now. Magnets. Can't go wrong with magnets. Oh shoot, I need to make a new handy scrapper, don't I? Yes, I got I got spoiled having all that excess that the game was throwing at me for so long. Hmm. Can I just neutralize it by whacking it? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no idea what that's up about. But we can get very close to the big dangerous zappy without being zapped. So I guess I'll be doing a deep dive through the zappy sections of the turbines, and we'll see what is up with those. Now I should have enough to make, uh... Yeah, that's two rolls of fabric. Two lead paint and four aluminum. I don't have enough aluminum, but I know where to get more aluminum. Yeah, let's run and get that real quick. On here, I should see if there's any electronics on this thing anywhere. Not looking like it. However, we do have one over there. Yes, with uh, with the revelation that the thruster works on the jet bike, or the vacuum, the vacuum cleaner, I now have enough time to derp around and do a little bit of exploring as I'm passing through on these trips from time to time. Oh, is that? No, that's depleted. In any case. Hmm. 
Yes, and we have that table now. What's that gonna cost? If I just uh, decor floor. Just two pieces of metal. So yeah, it's time to move Grandpa's shrine up into its proper home. Yeah, let's take that. You can be part of it. Grandpa would like this. Why do all calendars have women on them? This is complete discrimination of the male half of the population. You've never seen one of those firehouse calendars, suit? They're out there. Hello. Ha! This is an even greater bounty than I thought it was. While we're here, let's use our grabber to get some more Illumina, too. Or, uh, whatever it's called. Alkali. Just because it's available. Getting to be a few too many markers on my view. Maybe I should at least take off those old oxygen stations or something. Yeah, we can do that. Hmm. We could start making these different colors too, it looks like. Yeah. But I'll do more proper management. Well, I don't need air. I'll do more proper management on that when I am in an area where it won't necessarily kill me. This should be enough to last for a little while. I suppose I could also cut some more fabric from these. Won't feel as bad about it now that we ain't living here, you know? I scan these chairs? Why couldn't I scan this table or these containers? There's so many interesting pieces that I could be using for my own personal home. I guess before I go building an entire other spacesuit, I should... Yeah, this is a... This is indeed now we can a see why there's so much cooling room. gel near the shuttle. This is a tank with cooling gel from the outdated nuclear reactor cooling system. There's no data about such systems being on the line or unnamed. There's a lot of things that there is no data about that happen to be here. Are we sure this system is entirely a funerary shuttle? It seems that its primary designation should be something else. Alright, we have an absolute bounty of things on us. But, first of all, let's do the most important thing. Let's, uh... See, that's going to cost two pieces of metal. I think I can even just build it as I am right now, can I? No, I can't. There we are. Yeah. Let's... Put this kind of... Hmm. Yeah, Grandpa would enjoy the hum of the electrical system. Neat. So... First he needs a nice honor guard. Scout out the area before he sets down. Then, of course, we need the man himself down there. Now, 
Have a nice libation off to one side. And a, a symbol of his everlasting masculinity to the side. Oh, I was hoping I could get that to stand up right. Well, regardless, let's make sure that he has pleasant viewing in front. Just kind of... Yeah, that's... Now, can I get this to kind of sit upright? Frame the whole picture. Oh. Oh. Oh, but it's off-center. Still, that's promising. That is promising. Almost. Okay, so if I just line it up right like a so. Yes. Beautiful. Vitally important business, I know. In any case, we need to build us a new handy scrapper. And for that, we are going to need actual fine metal, which we have some prefab for us. And I had titanium on me. Oh no, we're low on titanium. But thankfully, titanium is kind of everywhere around here. Oh, what the heck. Let's build two. Just because our current one is about to run dry. here. Two rolls of fabric, two lead paint, four aluminum. Let's get that new spacesuit on the old burner. I'm glad I made more lead paint than I needed. Oh, wait. Okay. Fifteen minutes. Well... That seems like a good natural kind of break-off point for the evening anyway. Yeah. So, next time we will have that suit researched. And we will use it. We will see if it prevents our helmet from icing up. And if so, we will go and explore the new ice hole.